and so uh, it so there was a question of Tashini and Gongyo uh, so um, it, 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 it sort of goes back a long time that 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 you know, there are rationally connected varieties, uh, and sort of the nicest one among them are Fano varieties. Now, I mean, sort of the basic question might be, well, is every rationally connected variety Fano? Now, of course, it's not true on the nose. It's easy to write down the tower the smooth surfaces. But maybe, you, you can ask, maybe that is at least birational to something that is Fano, yeah? And so, sort of how far can you exactly push this? And so, so, so if we start with X, which is say rationally connected, and then then you ask, well, can you write down a birational birational equivalence to X prime, where this X prime is sort of well, sort of close to final. Uh, and so ideally, you would like to get as close to close to Fano, but sort of what uh, may, maybe the weakest cast, uh, form is, and so maybe we would like x prime to be just log Fano. But again, if you would like to sort of weaken this even a little bit, then uh, then uh, you, you would like so maybe the weakest cast f f form you can ask that there is a divisor, uh, say, say delta prime such that kx prime plus delta prime so should, be, should be effective divisor that is kx prime plus delta prime at least numerically equivalent to zero. So that's really sort of the weakest kind of statement man, that, that you can ask. So then you can say that it's x prime prime delta prime is some how is a very weak very weak calabia upper and uh, maybe for this I don't even assume that this pair is log canonical so just so let's assume really it's uh, the, the, the weakest statement here so uh, and so the, then the theorem that I would like to 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 like to show that there are some conic bundles that are not birational to this kind of very weak log canonical pairs. Okay. Uh, but, but, but see, let's see first that there are lots of varieties that that are birational to to a very weak uh, weak Calabia pair. So, for instance, let's start with sort of any smooth variety. So let's see, be any smooth projective variety. So my claim is that if I take z cross p1, that is birational to one of these uh, very weak low Calabia pair. Okay, and so so it is easy z to do well. Well, z cross p p p p p p itself will not work, uh, but but if you just Look at the projectivization over Z, something like O plus some O something variable. Okay, so then you get something like a P1 bundle over Z, and this has a very negative section. And now the point is, if you take the very negative tip section with multiplicity C T two. Okay, so from from a low canonical point of view, we should never do this. But but so here this is allowed. Then then you just compute that if H is sufficiently ample, then you can take some uh, pull back of some other divisor from here. That this will be a very weak Calabia pair. Okay, so and so that means you see this Z can be anything, it can be of general type, it, 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 it still holds. So actually there are a lot of things that are birational to a very weak Calabia pair. Uh, well, so what else can we, we, we do? Well, so uh, 
you see there are sort of two things here. Well, the sort of I maybe here I don't even assume anything about the singularities of x prime. I just say x prime normal. But this is really just a, a so, you know, the red herring because because once I have x prime, I can just just uh, pass to its canonical modification or even its terminal modification and the tender everything is 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 preserved so actually uh, there is no harm no harm assuming that uh, x prime has terminal singularities okay uh, on the other hand, uh, once I have some divisor in delta prime that has that is coefficient larger than one, then sort of that stays with us. So sort of that seems the more Im imp or restriction that is delta prime. It may contain some divisors with coefficient larger than one, say two here. So that's the thing that really opens up the 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 possibilities a lot. Now, on the other hand, sort of, huh? can't you contract the hmm? multiplicity two divisor? Yes, I can contract it, but sort of there, will be, there will be a lot of these two. So that means that I do get a singularity that's not log canonical. So, so it just, yeah, there's no way out of it. Yeah. And so, I, I, I actually, since sort of this pair is numerically trivial, if it's not log canonical, so any contraction, it cannot not become log canonical. So, in fact, it's completely equivalent. Okay. Uh, and so, oh, now, uh, so then, once this x prime has terminal singularities, well, if delta prime is zero, then you see the, 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 the x prime itself is just a Calabiau. So, so, oh, 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 okay. So every Calabiau is birational to, 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 to itself, and it's a weak Calabiau pair. Nothing interesting there. But if delta prime is non-zero, then I know that I mean, well, not exactly in the rationally connected range, but then I know that. At that least, if data prime is not zero, then kx prime has negative intersection with some general curves. So that means I have something that is uni ruled. And th 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 this example shows this is the best I can say. Okay? But anyhow, so, so if I want to move into some more familiar birational uh, th territory, then I say that so if x is birational to a very weak Calabiau pair, then, then x is also birational to some x double prime uh, that, that has terminal singularities and which has a non trivial Mori fiber space structure. Okay? Uh, and uh, this is a Mori fiber space structure. Okay, so then, then sort of that will be our 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 uh, uh, approach that I start with x, and then well I may maybe try to understand all the the more fiber space structures that there are, and then uh, and then see if 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 uh, and so then the, the 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 main question is so maybe that sort of of two parts. One, understand all this x birational x prime that has a Mori fiber space structure. Okay. And then the second part is, well, once I have a Mori fiber space st structure, I need to understand uh, minus m times kx double prime uh, are these empty or not? Okay. So, uh, and now, what's the advantage of working with conic bundles? Well, uh, but, but they are, so, are sort of among the simplest 
simplest variety is that we know that they are rationally connected and that then we also understand the, the, the bi-rational uh, structures. And so I, uh, I, I w would like to work with, with sort of two cases. One, so first I would like to work with surfaces. Yes, yeah, so maybe I should say that of course this question is interesting over any field, yes? Yeah? So if this X is defined over some field, then, then I would like to, to, to find this, this X prime delta prime over the, the, the same field. This is good for surfaces because there are no interesting conic bundle surfaces over an algebraically the closed field. They are just the P1 bundles and they are always birational to just the base times P1 so nothing interesting thing happens there. But if I work over where some field for instance like over Q then there are some very interesting conic bundles and I, and, and I might want to know uh, are they birational to to some other interesting Calabiau fiber space. And then I also interested, well, so sort of conic bundles, but maybe I will have, we, we do some, some three folds that will be, that they have to be over C, okay? Now, so, uh, well, maybe let's see, just to, to st st start with some examples of, of, of chronic bundles, okay? So, the, uh, so for instance, I st start with my base space will be, say, P2, okay? And then, actually, maybe the simplest example is just I, I take just P2 cross P2, so maybe here the coordinates are X and the other the coordinates are Y, okay? And then inside I can take a conic bundle, well, so it will be something like given by sum of Gij, this will be in the Y variables Xi. No, I think should have done the other way, sorry. So then, then there will be a Yi, Yj, and this will be in the x variable, so then, then if I set this one equal to zero, then, then that will be a nice conic bundle over this base. Yeah, so if I fix x's, I just get some, some, some conic, okay? Uh, and then I can do the, the, the same thing here, maybe so, so for surfaces I can just take uh, the base to be just, just uh, p1, okay? Uh, now, so uh, the, the, the basic invariant of conic bundles is, so, so if I have a surface conic bundle, so I will have, uh, uh, if I take the minimal model, the, then there will be a finite number of the singular fibers, and so I have to make sure that these divisors, they are conjugate under the Galois group. That's why I can, can do, do it over some where some field and the basic invariant here, so maybe this is S to P1, the basic invariant is the, is the discriminant of the number of the singular fiber, number of singular fibers. And then I think if you come from the Alpezzo surfaces, then of course you like more the self-intersection of the canonical class and that will be eight minus this delta S, okay. Uh, and, uh, and the, 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 here what happened, well, so if I have a general point, then I expect over it I have a smooth conic, but there will be a curve, which is called the branch curve, over which you get singular conics. And so, so then here the basic invariant is, so maybe if this one will be my x, then that will be, then there will be the base locus, uh, the, so, so, so sorry, this will be the branch curve. Yeah. Okay, and the, 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 usually what you should 
So think that here the more singular fibers there are, the more complicated the conic bundle is. And then here, well, the higher the degree the branch curve, the more complicated the, uh, the conic bundle is. Now, okay, so that's nice. Uh, now, then I need to understand, well, it says that for the step one, I need to understand all all birational equivalences between this X and some other the more fiber space space structure and and so uh, the, the other advantage I have that in these two cases uh, these birational equivalences are known so uh, so here there is a result of Iskovsky Iskovsky uh, which says that if delta S uh, is at least eight, okay, uh, then then uh, oh, the, 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 the only way this can be birationally equivalent to some more fiber space structure, then it's also a conic bundle, okay. Then let's see. So here I have my X with some singular fibers, okay. Now the, the, then, Niskovsky says that that every other more fiber space structure is also a conic bundle, okay? In fact, over the same P1, okay? And then, what I get here is the composite of elementary transformation. So what's an elementary transformation of a conic bundle? Well, I take a smooth fiber and I take a point on it. Now I can blow up that point, and then I, I can contract the fiber, okay? Now, of course, since I'm over a, over a field, it, I, I, it can happen that I take not sort of one smooth fiber, but maybe, maybe three conjugate smooth fibers, and then I, I have to take, take three conjugate points in them each, okay? So then this is just elementary transform. Transformation, the composite of these. Okay, so the, that means this is the way I get all other conic bundle structures. And the one thing that's very important for us to know that the singular fibers are not touched. Yeah. So so the so the singular fibers fibers are not touched. And the, and the same theorem applies here by Sarkisov. And then I think it was actually fixed up by Corti. Uh, so it, it says that here, uh, let's see. So it says that if the degree of the branch divisor is okay, I don't remember whether it's larger or equal 12 or or larger than 12. So it's possible that the equal to 12 is also okay, I don't remember. Exactly, that, uh, the, you know, the same holds, yeah? That, that, that if I have this conic bundle maps down to P2, then, then this birational transformation, well, so here I have this x, and then I get this x prime. This will also be a conic bundle over P2. And it's also some elementary transformations. Now, uh, what will be the elementary transformation here? Well, uh, so we don't take points, but, but here I take a surface that consists of smooth fibers, and I take a section in it, okay? And so then I can do the same thing. I can blow up this section, and then I can contract this surface. Now you ask yourself the question, well, what to do where this surface inevitably hits B? Yeah? Uh, I will come back to that. So I think sort of just to start with, with uh, we just do elementary transformations, and we ignore what happens at the finitely many points where we hit B. And then we try to figure out what happens to, to, to 
x prime over that. Because this curve, it can be actually quite nasty the, the way it intersects b. Yeah, it can have some, you know, some complicated singularities. So, so uh, aside from finitely many fibers, we know exactly what to do, and then we, we will have to figure out what happens at the other fibers. Okay, so then, sort of, assuming that we understand this, uh, what remains to to do? It seems like a very it's, it's, it's a very elementary question. So, so then, then if I have a conic bundle, but a surface conic bundle, well, is minus is canonical class effective, or, uh, or at least is some multiple effective. So, so, uh, so then we have this question that if I, that I have a surface conic bundle over P1, and I ask myself, uh, is minus kx, x, well, at least q effective, yeah? And so that means that is it numerically or at least q linearly equivalent to some effective divisor? And now, actually this turned out to be a not, so, so I assumed first that, that, that's what I will just prove that you know if delta s is large enough, then it's not. Yeah? But it turns out that this is not a question that depends only on the number of the singular fibers. Even the location of the singular fibers is not enough to answer this question. So it it it, it needs a finer their, their study and the, that that at least in the surface case it it sort of needs. Need something. Okay, so let's try to to come view you with this here a little bit. Uh, now, actually, f f for the applications, I will will need to understand uh, not just this, but but I need to understand if I add m times a fiber where to, to do it. Then of course if I add sort of large enough m then this will be effective but I would like to to know exactly what happens here. And so and so then, then you know, the question is and so so then what happens if this divisor is is U effective, and the problem is that, of course, I have to sort of ch 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 check all these linear system R times K S plus M F. I need to to check here infinitely many linear systems. Okay, and so now, but uh, but, but, but the whole thing should should be uh, not too complicated. Uh, so, so, let, 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 let's see. so let's assume that, so then, let's assume that minus Ks plus Mf is at least Q linearly equivalent to, to some effective divisor, okay? Now, then, uh, at least if the data is large enough, then this has negative self-intersection. So that means that this data will have one component at least that has negative self-intersection. So that means that there will be, a, be some curve C inside S with C square, C square less than zero. And now you see this S is a minimal conic bundle, and so that means this cone of, of curves has dimension two. So uh, you, you know that the curve with negative self-intersection on a, surface always gives us an extreme array, and I know another extreme array that is spanned by f, okay? So then that means that, that the, the, you know, the cone of curves of S is then just spanned by, by the fiber and this curve C, okay? And now, of course, so my problem is what happens if the C has a sort of very large degree over, 
where the base, then it's a complicated curve. Okay, uh, but but uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I don't have too much time. So so to actually, it it sort of. Uh, 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 not hard. So what you do is is you compute the arithmetic genus. So so oh, 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 okay. So then you can write the minus the canonical class is one over a times c. Okay. So the c uh, it, it so has some degree over where the base. It has to be an even degree since it's a minimal well, conic bound. So this a is just one half. Of, of that degree. So that means that A is an integer, and then plus there will be some B times F, so then maybe this is only Q linear, the equivalent. This can be a rational number, okay? And so the, then you use this, and then what you write down is you compute the arithmetic genus from the adjunction formula, and then well, of course, you have a lower bound for this, and name the lower bound for this is what is it? Minus four a. Yeah. Uh, so why not minus two? Because of course I don't know that this curve is geometrically irreducible. Yeah. So sort of it could consist of uh, several of these joint joint rational curves with negative self-intersection. So maybe it's sort of high. Time to give an example for this. If you start with just P2, okay, and you take in it four conjugate points, okay, and th th then there's a pencil of conics that uh, will pass through this, okay, and so that means that, that if you blow up these four points, P2 over P1, that this is a conic bundle. And there will be this, there will be four minus one curves in it that. The conjugate over where the base field, yeah, and so, so in this case, this case is C, yeah, indeed, this arithmetic genus will be you know minus four, or yeah, yeah, I think so. What, what, what? Yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. So, so. So sorry, I've seen it in the genus, but I think it's the degree of omega c that I compute. That's the one that goes to then. Sorry, this negative arithmetic genus didn't sound good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So so that that means for this example, this indeed ends up in minus eight. Okay. And so then you see that this that that this c uh, that I get this curve it has degree four over the base. And so then. The, 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 then you compute this, and then on the other hand, out of this you can also uh, so write down the inequality the, the, that minus k s squared. I know that is eight minus delta s. You see here, sort of delta s enters into the the the, the picture, and if you compute this to, then you get out of it. Let me just make sure I have the number that. So, so we get that if delta s is larger, sorry, is larger than 12 plus 6m, then uh, a is less than or equal to. Okay. And so, uh, and in f yeah. So, so, so sorry. Then a. a is in fact one, okay? So, so that means that that so that if there are enough singular fibers, and there's a negative the self-intersection curve, then it has to be a double section. So you you can see here exactly that inequality does not hold. Yeah. So uh, it's any kind of equality. Yeah. So, so, so that uh, m means that now that is easier because, because uh, then instead of needing to, ch to check that some multiple of this is uh, effective, I know that in fact this divisor is effective. 
Okay, so then the the main conclusion out of this uh, is that so then again so if delta is larger than 12 plus 6m uh, then uh, minus ks plus mf is q effective if and only if it's effective okay so that means I don't need to look at some very very complicated curve I just need to look at some at some at some low degree curve and now uh, then I so so then out of get that so so then as a corollary it's again a simple genus uh, computation that uh, so again under this condition so minus ks is q effective if and only if there is an elliptic double section and what I will need for also minus kx plus f is q effective if and only if there is a genus 2 genus 2 double section okay and so I think the first one is exactly what you expect yeah, if, yeah, if minus ks has a uh, member that should be, an, uh, should be an elliptic curve now by elliptic I mean sort of elliptic or it's better so it could be something like a rational double section and then I have to add some fiber to it to, to get a member of minus ks Okay, so that means that 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 uh, now I can look for some geometric metric things, uh, and so so now that means that I know how to answer this question for surfaces. At least uh, at least it seems I know that. So then again, I get a. a a, co a corollary so then if I have a that if I ha that if I have this conic bundle surface with delta s and yeah larger than yeah for voice I will need the mm equals one case so let me me write this when delta s is larger than 18 okay uh, then uh, then uh, Minus ks plus f is is sort of birationally q effective, and so that means that that means s is birational to some other the conic bundle where ma minus k plus the fiber is q effective. If and only if there is a double section. So here is my s. And I'm looking for some double section that will be C, such that, but here comes the problem that I know that the genus of the normalization of C is less than or equal to. So the C itself can be quite singular, but, uh, but its normalization, it should have, should have genus at least two. Okay, okay so let's see, so the Y is this exactly what you expect, so, so the question is what to do with the singularities of C, yeah? And so, so, so what happens if instead, if instead I get some singularities? I mean, typically just some self-intersection, yeah? That it, it comes this way and that way, and then here I have a singular point. Now, what's... Now I see that this singular point, it must happen on a smooth fiber. Why? Because this curve intersects the general fiber twice. Now, in a singular fiber, I have two irreducible components, so that means the curve will intersection one with both of them. But then the intersection cannot be at a singular point. And so that means it's at a smooth fiber, so that I can do then the elementary transformation there. And in, 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 in 
fact, if I have a singular double fiber, then I just do repeated elementary transformations at the singular point, and eventually it becomes a smooth double fiber, and the, then it's an elementary the computation, that then it's a section of minus ks plus f, e if his genus is at most two. Okay. And so that means that I'm just looking at double sections where the genus of its normalization is at most two. And, uh, and well, I mean, so um, it sort of, it is tricky. I mean, uh, so uh, let's see an example. Okay, so, so, uh, Let's write down the the conic bundle. So here I have my p uh, p one, or maybe I just do over the f fine line with coordinates s, and I write down the g s z square equals x square minus p y square for some prime p. Okay, so where will be the singular uh, fiber? Where the singular fibers will be at the zeros of, of s, so these are the points g s equals zero. Uh, it's not hard to see that if g has even degree, then you don't get a singular fiber infinity. If g has odd degree, then you do. I mean, it's like for, for, for a elliptic curve, very similar uh, uh, computation to this. So then you get the singular fibers here. Okay, now then, what's the the conditions that these that, that these be conjugates well and so you see that these these two lines you have to take a square root out of p yeah and now then what's the the residue field here here i had just q uh, joined s that will be the residue field here okay so sort of as long as if the square root of p is is not contained in the splitting field of G, this will be a minimal conic bundle. Okay? And so, uh, that's nice. G can be so pretty much arbitrary, so this location is arbitrary. Now, the, let's see what happens if I, I pass from the field to I just adjoin the square root of P. Well, then of course, all these fibers, all these lines are suddenly defined. I can contract right, one set of them, and then I just get a rational surface. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, what does it mean? That means that over this field, I have a section. Yeah? So, that means that if I come down, uh, th then I have a conjugate pair of sections. Okay? So, that means that that I have a conjugate pair of sections. Well, now this is definitely a curve whose normalization has genus less than or equal one. I mean, if, yeah. And so that, and so that means that if I just start with sort of this section and I do elementary transformations at its inter, uh, at its self intersection, then eventually I do get a surface where, where in fact minus the canonical class is effective. Okay, and so you see that just the location of the singular fibers alone is not enough to tell you that that it is not birational to something that that uh, where minus ks is effective. Okay, so I, I was sort of stuck on this this. F f f for some time, but 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 for the threefold case, one can can uh, move ahead. So what can can one do here? You see, I would like to use the surface to, and so I started the conic bundle over P two, and then I would like to use the surface result to to to, to, to take a generic line. So not a line over C, but a, but a line over C. Uh, let's see, what were my coordinates? So, so maybe x1, x2. So now we work over where this field, then I get a minimal conic bundle. And so that means that I, the, this result I can translate to 
so and so I actually that's why I needed this this extra one because when I restrict the general line then the canonical class of the threefold restricts not to the minus the canonical class but minus the canonical class plus f because the line intersects itself one so that's why I, I, I needed that one so you no know, I mean the threefold case what was my notation so maybe it was still was okay so now I have x to to p2 and again now we assume that the degree of b is at least 18 or maybe larger than 18 maybe that was was the, the, the assumption I need and so then I get that minus kx is by rationality q effective if and only if well uh, there is a double section uh, so maybe what do I call it? So, so maybe z inside x. Actually, let's not call it. Let's go. Well, okay. I had s. I, I'm supposed to be a surface, but I already had s. Okay, let's call this z. Sorry, I don't know. So this maps to p2. So this is a, 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 a two to one map, and now the uh, the, the assumption that I have, you see that this genus two thing, okay. so that means that if I normalize it, then the general section uh, will have genus two. So actually what I know, if I write down the normalization and I, uh, I write down this, that here, the branch curves, branch curve has degree less than or equal to six. And so uh, ideally this should be a K3 surface and then the branch curve inside has the exa has degree exactly six, but, but of course it could be something smaller. It could be a rationale, and then it could be a degree two del pezzo and a degree three, four branch curve. And so, now then here again, again, one can write down examples of conic bundles with a very high degree, uh, the degree branch curve, uh, where in fact you can, can f f find a K3 double section. So this is again not a, 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 a condition that involves the degree only, uh, but but let's see. So what can we do? Yes, yes, yes. So so it's sort of maybe here that that. Um, okay, so um, okay. So let's look at, 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 at so maybe the simplest uh, e example, and then there is an other one. So let's start with uh, this example. When I just look at something of the of the form of gi, uh, gi of the axis times y i square equals zero, and so I just want it to be just diagonal. Okay. Now, then I see. So then, and then what is the branch curve then? Where the branch curve is given just this determinant is zero, so that will be given by by g0, g1, g2 equals zero. And so that means it's the union of these, these uh, three curves. So this is b0, union b1, union b2, okay? And now I would like to focus on the, on the intersection points of this. I need a sort of a slight genericity uh, as assumption, uh, 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 I just need that need that the intersection points I have they are all transverse and distinct. Okay, so I need transverse plus distinct distinct intersections. Okay, now and so.
now then let's claim oh, okay now then I have the claim is I'm talking about sort of this specific example so let uh, Z inside X be any double section okay so then then the, then the branch curve of this Z bar to P2 contains all the singular points of B. Okay? And so, so my claim is that it that it then that has to contain the singular points of B. Let's assume this for a moment and let's see how do we get an example. So we are interested in the cases when this uh, when this branch curve here z bar to p2 has degree at most 6 okay so let's see what can i say so 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 uh, uh, so so that means let's divide this this branch curve let's call it by d okay now then i look at this b0 intersect d okay and I know it's, that it contains the intersections of B0 with B1 and, uh, and intersections of B0 with B2. So that means that now if the, so uh, I, I know that this can contains curve, so if this have degrees, so let's say that the degree of the GIs is just D, okay? So that this contains the set B0 intersect B1 union B2, and so then its cardinality is, what is it, 2D squared, yeah? And now on the other hand, uh, this I know is at most 6D, okay? So I know that something like this must hold, so that tells me that, what does it tell me? That D is something small, okay? That that's at most, most 3. Now of course, well, except, except it can happen that is D contains B0, okay? But then I, I apply this for the other, so then I get this D contains B0, B1, and B3, but then the degree of D is at least something like three times D, okay? So, so that means that if these D's are large enough, then, then certainly here this one alone tells me what happens. Okay, so, so that means that this is what I need to check. And now, okay, so, so let's see, but let's try to, to see what happens then, then at, these, at these points here when two curves intersect. So then, then basically, so in the local coordinates, uh, I have an equation, something like x0 times y0 squared plus x1 times y1 squared plus y2 squared equals 0. In some analytic local coordinates, this is, is what I have, okay? And now, you see that if the branch curve doesn't, doesn't can't, to attain that point, then the z bar it has to be et al over that point, and so that means that then here this equation it it uh, must have at least an analytic local solution. Okay, so if uh, so if the point x zero equals x one equals zero is not contained in the, the branch curve of the z bar to p2, then I know that this equation has a, a, a solution, well, sort of not necessary, okay, then there is a solution in, uh, well, in c x0, x1 in the power series ring, okay. No, 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 of course I want to apply this after some birational transformations. So then, then that means that after some birational transformation, I'm interested 
in some solutions here. And so I just need to uh, need to show that this equation that it has no solutions in the Laurent series field. Uh, of, of course, I can clear denominators. So the fact that I passed to, to, to the field, it was really just for absolutely nothing. Okay, so I can come back to my to my to to, to my ring, and then uh, and then I just say, well, let's look at simply the lowest degree the degree term, yeah, and you you see that it cannot happen. So so. Uh, so you see, well, one thing is that this always give you you some even lowest degree term, whereas these give you odd odd thing. So that means that this cannot be the lowest degree term. So the only way it can can happen that y zero and y one they have the same lowest degree and y two has a larger degree. But if the these have the same lowest degree, then you see x0 times the square of this leading term is x1 times the square of that, it just cannot happen. Okay? So, so that means I have the, 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 the claim, and so then I have e examples. Now, so, so, so here the branch locus is singular, but you see, having a, sometimes like a double section is a, well, so uh, it, so it, it can happen in something like a countable union of a relative Chow or Hilbert. So that means that if I have one example where I have no double oh, <laughs> section that's KC, uh, then the very general well, chronic bundles also have this property. So, so that uh, uh, means that there should be, uh, that there are examples where, where these are, are smooth. So in, in, in fact, if you look at, at sort of what happens with, the, with the, 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 the smooth branch locus, so, so, so then in general, uh, 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 what you get, so there is the branch curve of this z bar to p2, and there is the branch curve of x, and, and then what's not hard to prove is that any intersection between them has to have multiplicity at least two. In fact, it has to have an even multiplicity. Okay, so then what you have to, to decide, so if there's a general plane curve of degree at least, what did I compute? I think I computed something like 15 or 16. Then there is no curve of degree at most, most, at most six for which all the intersections with this have multiplicity at least two. I mean, it's not surprising, but so we just compute a little bit that, that something like this holds. And this holds just for dimension reason. So, so, so in, in fact, there's a Zariski open set uh, where there is no K3 double section. And, and then it works. So now after this, we have to come back to this. Well, so the how to, 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 to fix this. And again, the only thing I, uh, I know how to do uh, again to use these, uh, these, these these double fibers. Yeah, so these are are fibers that are worse than than uh, normal. Here it's a double line, whereas for surfaces, since we do not have double lines, but but it's not hard to create these double lines if we try to write down the surfaces as families over spec ZP, okay? Then exactly at the characteristic P points, I can arrange that I have some um, double lines. So that means I have to work out that the equation should be something like S times X0 square, plus I need this very P X1 
sorry, y y1, y2 squared equals zero. S is the parameter on this base P1 and the P has to be this P. Then exactly at this characteristic P point it has the same property. So then again I can I can then write down explicitly some examples of of of, of, of conic bundles over Q where where minus ks is not birationally effective. Okay, maybe I stop here. Any questions of the So if you surface examples over Q, do those have rational points? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah well, let's see. Yeah, I think I can do it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. So, so if we, could, if we could, uh, question change the should, should effectivity of minus k. Yes. So still this is that. Okay, and so the uh, and so I think f and so something might go bad in general, but but but, but, but I think here the. I think the cones are so simple that it should be the same. But yes, 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 yes. No, actually, I should should try to write this down as a statement. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.